If you're watching this video, odds are you're not ready to go into cybersecurity. But before you guys click off this video and get mad at me, we're gonna talk about five reasons why if you guys took me to the end of this video. What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Darian. This is Darian the Dev and we talk about everything from tech, entrepreneurship, startups, and coding on this channel. So if you guys are into that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps you stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into these five reasons right here. And let me just say, I am not the end all be all when it comes to getting hired in cybersecurity. I'm not a cybersecurity recruiter or anything like that. I can only speak on my experiences from working in the industry as a software developer myself and what I've seen in terms of being a coding bootcamp graduate and being on a job search and getting a job in tech without having a college degree in computer science or having previous experience in IT. All right, now the first reason is that you likely don't know enough about operating systems and networks to really start going directly into cybersecurity when you first start teaching yourself to code or when you graduate from a coding bootcamp. And the reason why I say that is because you have to understand how advanced most hackers are and how long they've been programmed. The way I like to put it is pretty much for people who are trying to consider going into cybersecurity without being pretty experienced programmers, ask yourself, how are you going to protect someone against a hacker who is a really good programmer? If you're not, it's a lot of operating system uh, information and a lot of tools that come with that as well too that you'll need to know. And you just likely won't know those things or be able to grasp exactly what is going on because there's a lot of low level concepts that deals with networking and sending packets and data and all these different things when you're talking about getting into cybersecurity. But my second reason why you're likely not gonna be ready to get into cybersecurity is because you probably don't know just the basics about the main vulnerabilities that are out there on basic websites on the internet. So for example, you'll have cross-site scripting, DDoS attacks, cross-site request forgery. So there's all these different types of attacks you can have, and I'll put them somewhere up here on the screen, but there's all these different vulnerabilities that are super, super common. And likely when you first start teaching yourself code or even start building applications and things like that, you just won't know enough about what makes sites vulnerable, what makes browsers vulnerable. And like we said before, networks and SQL injections in your code specifically, like what makes code vulnerable? You won't really be able to comprehend or grasp that unless you spend all your time only focusing on that. But even with that, I'm still really hesitant to say that you guys will be ready to get into cybersecurity because the people who do this have so much experience in this and they've been doing it for so many years that when you first get into programming, it's already challenging enough to be good at software development as it is to become good at cybersecurity. So you need way more time in software development, in my opinion, before you'll be able to understand what makes your code vulnerable to all these different attacks. Not even just your code, but like we said, there could be networks, there could be browser attacks, there could be SQL injections. So there's a lot of different ways you can be attacked too. And you need to know all of them. The third reason why I think you're not ready to get into cybersecurity when you first start teaching yourself how to code or when you come out of a coding bootcamp is because you haven't hacked yourself yet. And I know you're probably like, Darian, what do you, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Why, what do you mean haven't hacked myself? Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna start practicing hacking on hacking other people and potentially risk prison time and doing illegal things and going to jail? Like, there's a such thing out there is called ethical hacking. And the reason why we call it ethical is because it's for educational purposes so that when you're trying to learn cybersecurity and things like that, you can basically learn how to be a better software engineer, protect yourself, make your apps more secure. To learn cybersecurity, you're definitely gonna have to use a lot of different ways and methods of practicing and you're not gonna do that on other people. So you're gonna have to essentially hack yourself uh, by either taking some courses or you know using virtual machines and trying to hack your own network at home by using a virtual network and things like that. But there's places that you can start where you need to basically start to understand at least these vulnerabilities and things like what makes a network vulnerable and just all the background information about network addresses and just all the different things that you need to know um, before you get into that to really understand you know how to manipulate it or what makes it vulnerable so i kind of beautifully segues into my next point which is there's this open website called public firing range and i'll, I'll put the link right here where you can actually go and practice all the different like 
common types of vulnerabilities and there's basically just a bunch of exercises and lessons where you can practice cybersecurity right in your web browser. I'll be honest, I haven't completed any of those challenges myself, but I would say that it's a great place for anybody who's trying to get into cybersecurity where you can actually start learning and testing your knowledge by going through some of these lessons and exercises and seeing if you can you know complete them so the last thing i'll say guys is there's a lot more that you'll need to learn about things like firewalls encryption cloud services virtual private networks iot devices are another big thing that is coming up so as you're learning how to do cybersecurity on web and things like that, you'll also have to learn how to do that with devices. With that being said, guys, I'll wrap it up by just saying that cybersecurity is a huge field. There's so much to learn, just like with every area of tech. You could have an entire career doing just database stuff. You can have a whole career as just a software engineer. You can have a whole career as just a QA analyst. You can have a whole career doing cybersecurity or doing networking. So leave me some comments down below, guys. I know this might be a little controversial. People might have different opinions about this. So let me know down in the comment section. I don't mean it disrespectfully at all in any way, but I just think that when you first start learning how to code, you're just not ready to get into cybersecurity. It's a huge field all by itself. A lot of things you need to know really well and really intimately before you can become good at cybersecurity. And I think that does start with coding and getting good with software engineering on its own. So that's just my opinion, guys. If you guys are thinking about going to a coding bootcamp, check the description box down below for my free intro to coding bootcamp course. It's got everything in there I wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp. If you guys like or enjoyed this at all, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me stay motivated to put these videos out for you guys. Again, this is Darren with Darren Dev. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video, all right? Peace.